Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm just kind of sitting out in my garden. So it stormed here last night and so I wanted to just kind of come out and take a look and to see what was going on and everything seems to be okay. Uh, my garden isn't much but it is a spot where I can grow a few things and we can harvest them and we can have some fruits and vegetables on our table that we've grown ourselves. Um, and you know, just to get started, I mean, I used to live in apartments too. And, you know, and you know, you can grow just like some of the, um, you know, some of the herbs and things, you can grow those just in your window seal in your kitchen or something. Or you can, if you have a little balcony, you can just grow in buckets or other little containers in, on your balcony. And you can do it that way. You don't have to have, you know, a large space. You know, we just happen to have a large space, but you know, we live on a sand dune here. So everything that we grow we need black dirt right and and fertilizer and you know plant food and different things like that and we had to bring in so much black dirt just to have the little space to grow that we do have right so it's been a lot of work because you know nothing wants to really grow in sand although our grapes are doing pretty well but all of the roots and all the base of those grapes are in black dirt right so in every year we go underneath them and we weed them and we give them more fresh black dirt and stuff so you know it and it takes a lot to maintain a large space like this so i wouldn't like force this on anyone but it's fun and i do love it and i hope you'll enjoy start to love it and enjoy it um, as much as I do because it really does bring you joy when you can bring some of these fresh vegetables into your kitchen. It is just amazing feeling. So, and I want that for you too because we all want to start eating healthier and doing our best to, uh, you know, buy foods or grow foods that we know what it is we're getting, right? Because so many foods that we do buy, we don't know what preservatives are on them. We don't know what pesticides pesticides or herbicides or whatever is on these uh, particular plants, right, that we bring home or these vegetables or fruits. And so it is really nice to grow your own. Um, but, you know, and I encourage all of you to want to do it, but, um, you know, start small because you can always grow into a larger garden. You don't have to start off too big because it takes a lot of effort to keep things weeded, to keep things watered, to keep things, you know, fed and things like that. So just be patient with yourself and just take your time and just do it a little bit at a time, okay? So I'm just gonna show you around my kind of messy garden right now. We've been really busy out here working. So things are just in a kind of an array of just mess. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing, I'm gonna admit. But we are hope to get a little garden shed and to be able to put a lot of these different tools and different things away. But it's just a little bit messy right now because we got different projects going on. We are um, not only working in our garden and enlarging our garden so we can grow corn, we're also wanting to have some grass because we live on a sand dude. There's no grass that grows here. <laughs> and we just love when we see pictures or we go and drive places and we see people with this beautiful lush green lawn it's like oh why can't we have that right so we have a little space between our white grape and our stone patio that we are filling with black dirt and we're going to plant grass we have the grass seed already so it's a start right so we're just going to see how it goes but anyway we are in the attempt to do that and we just a lot of things are all messed up here but we just got a new hot water tank and so our old hot water tank is sitting outside here until we can get it to the scrap yard and so it just looks a little everything unfinished right just that's how it looks so it won't always be that way but we're, it's a work in process in in the process okay so anyway I'm going to show you some things that I'm growing some things that I really like now there are a lot of different fruits and vegetables that I can't have I'm allergic to a lot of foods um, but I am planting foods that I can pretty much have and um, 
we're going to go from there. So I'm just going to show you what I have. I have, um, I tried earlier to get this to turn around, the camera to turn around, but it won't while I'm filming. So I'm just going to kind of have to hope that when I'm talking, I am showing you because I'm just going to flip the camera, whole camera. So I can, um, you know, show you what I, uh, that I, what I want to say is when I'm talking about certain things, I hope the camera is showing you what it is I'm talking about. I'm new at this stuff with this um this type of camera on this phone anyway it just won't flip I don't know why so anyway I'll try it again again and again and again and again and again it won't okay okay so here we go we're gonna start here where you come in the gate we come in the gate over here so here's where my gate is and I'm going to paint my gate and different things but anyway so here we have some time we have some chives a little more time it's kind of taking over i'm going to try to regroup some of this stuff maybe come fall so i hope you're seeing this a little um lavender plant and all of this i planted rows and rows of uh green onion you can see a nice one coming up there another one over there some more time and i forget what this is i planted this for my husband i can't have it but it is um let me see here I'd have to put my glasses back on. Sorry. It is Swiss chard. So some little Swiss chard for him. And hopefully that gets going. We have a little plant here. We have some basil, a big spider down there. If you can see him, yucky. Uh, some mint, some rosemary, one of my favorites. I love rosemary in my bread that I make. And then we have a little row of um, reddish there. And let's see. I thought we had something over there in the corner. I forget. And then these are tomatoes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six tomato over here. And I think I have... Uh, some more thyme growing back there and let's see some more thyme here and some more thyme here it's just taking over like I said and then we have more tomato plants here we have a sage I planted a brand new sage plant because my sage wasn't doing so well so I planted a new one and we have tomatoes in here I have cherry tomato and regular uh, big boy tomatoes um, here's some, uh, over here is some rhubarb. Now I don't really care for rhubarb by itself, but when you mix it with other fruits and you make like a cobbler or something out of it, or like an apple crisp or something like that, it's amazing when you have some other fruits in there with it. And then there's some parsley and it's seeding out. So I'm going to kind of cut some of that back and let it go down to the roots so it can kind of get a little bit larger. And then we have regular potatoes, russet potatoes over here that I started some of them inside. And that going on, let's see. We have, these are some lentils. No, not lentils, sorry. These are, um, what were these? leeks sorry these were leeks i just planted these just about uh three or four days ago and they look real good so i'm hoping they grow i like making soup out of those so i'm hoping they will do well so and then we have some more tomatoes these ones were planted first so it's a little bit larger than the other ones and i think they got a little bit more watering than the other ones did so we have to make sure that we get more water uh, so then those are the rows of potatoes and then all of this is mint. It's kind of taken over and eventually this fall I like to kind of get it back in that corner where it was and um, Some more time that's kind of volunteer and took over need to get that out of there and then replace it uh, But I'm gonna leave it for this year till fall and then maybe transplant it and here we have some carrots here I think all of these rows we have broccoli and I think more of carrots all of these are carrots and then I planted some beets over here you can see one right there a couple growing there and it's supposed to be like two rows of beets over here but I don't see too much so I want to let it you know I don't want to pick any weeds yet until it comes up and I can kind of decipher what's what 
We have a lavender that needs to really get cut back. It's not doing too well over there. We need to maybe pull that out of there and put, put it somewhere else. Um, and then we have some little peas over here going good. Some more thyme over there. And uh, so, yeah, and then this back area here, we are cleaning out the leaves and the trees and stuff, and we are lengthening our garden. So we're going to be putting corn in there and some other things back in there. We have two grape plants here. Here's a white grape and a, another white grape, I believe. Um, let's just take a little look. Let's see. So this plant's looking pretty good. We have some, I forget what this stuff is called, but it's my brother gave it to me and it's kind of going all over our yard. Um, I'm going to flip it back right there. Uh, I just transplanted it so it doesn't want to stand up too good by itself. Uh, so I put it, my dill over here so my dill can kind of go crazy if it wants to. Right there. We still got more leaves to get out of here. And we have these runners here because we were running the wheelbarrow on here getting the leaves out. So then here we have, um, I just planted some asparagus so you can see it seeding out here this is asparagus another little one right there and another one seeding out over here so this whole area in here i put the roots in here oh and there's another one there i think too maybe not i can't no maybe not maybe I, it's hard to tell um but anyway so they're in here so i'm just kind of leaving the weeds and stuff go for right now until i can really distinguish the plants now here's a blueberry here these are lilacs three lilac bushes we put in there um, and then here are the blueberries we transplanted a few this one's been transplanted this year uh, a couple of these about five of them have been transplanted so they probably won't bear fruit this year uh, so this one is a nice one it's starting to bear fruit you can see how beautiful it looks uh, this one has been doing fantastic it is really starting to mature nicely and it's getting a lot of blueberries on it and this one didn't get any yet i don't oh it's got a few it's got a few they need some food they need some uh food uh some more blueberry blueberry that one was transplanted i think that one was transplanted um but they are coming along some more blueberries look how beautiful Aren't they pretty they're so cute they're coming along so that and that so they're doing good some little impatience i planted that'll probably fill that whole pot by the end of summer and the same thing with that one and then over here, I have one raspberry left. So this is one raspberry bush. I had all raspberry in this area here. Um, and the deer, before we fenced it, and the deer just came in and just mowed them down to the root. So we have some peony bushes here. I hope they bloom this year. I'm going to sure try to give them some food so they'll bloom. Uh, some other little plant this is supposed to be a perennial i put all perennials in here another perennial i'm not familiar with these i just planted them and same thing with that i transplanted this hostess over here from our sidewalk front area uh, by our well we're doing some work over there and another one i planted that and then a rose bush my son bought me and you love you see how these uh strawberries they love to grow it rained last night, so they look really bad, but and they're starting to get ate on, of course. But they are growing, so we have a few. We had a hundred strawberries in this area, and the deer and rabbit, and whatever, took off with them all. I think I planted, I think I had counted nine last night that we had nine little plants going. Um, but this will fill back in with strawberries eventually. So we got some empty pots. We need to get some more flowers and different things. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Uh, but we were worrying about the vegetables, making sure we get the vegetables in on time. So it's just a little garden. It's just a little something, right? But at least it's a space where I can grow things and 
you know, I can, um, you know, bring food in on the table. You know, that's just a wonderful feeling. So I'm going to just kind of walk up closer to our house where the grapes are. I'll show you with my grape and um, where we're going to be uh, planting grass. And it's nothing special here. So let's see if I can lock this. I have to lock the gate because... <laughs> The animals will take off with everything. Okay. All right. So we're over here now by our our stone patio here. Here's our stone patio. You can tell that it's, you know, that we're working. We've got grass seed. Um, and this is where we're putting in the black dirt. So we're starting to put loads in here of black dirt and wheelbarrowing it in because of the sand and everything gets stuck out here. So we have to like wheelbarrow it in. And so this is where we're going to be planting. So here's our white Niagara grape. Here's our tree that we just planted, our uh, apple tree. And I have the fence there because I want to fold it in half and put it around there and secure it. Uh, maybe with some bigger stakes, though. Those are pretty flimsy, so it doesn't fall into the tree. And um, But it looks pretty good. We've got some weeding to do, and we have to get those back up on runners. They're all kind of smashed down from the snow. And we did get all of that weeded, and we plant uh, some new flowers in there, some gladiolas uh, that'll give us a little bit of color this summer. So this is where we're going to seed for grass, all of this big area. So the grass will come all the way out to here, uh, all the way to the sidewalk, all the way to the strawberries. This is a nice strawberry plant right here. Look at that one. It's got some on there. It was so few that I didn't even pick this year, but I should go pick them. Um, yeah, so that, Niagara's, and then here's our pear tree. I kept saying it was a peach tree, but the peach tree is the one we had to take back. So this is the pear tree that we got. So this is the one that we bought, you know, and um, pretty happy with it. I, it has a little bit of discoloring on the leaves, and I'm hoping that will go away. Maybe it just was, I don't know, but we're going to give it some food and that will go away. We're getting this all cleaned up. This was all full of weed, weeds, so we're getting that cleaned up. And hopefully, eventually, we are going to finish a little sidewalk there, a little tiny one, and then end up making a little deck out here. So when we come out those doors, we'll be able to have a nice little area that we can sit out here or my customers can sit out here. Um, would be nice. So we have a lot of stuff that we're working on and having to move. Now these here are my other grapes. These are my red grape. These are the first two rows, I believe, are koalaba. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's what I think it is. Koalaba, koalaba, something like that. But um, the first two rows are those. And then the rows behind it, I don't know if you can see that there's rows behind but there's rows behind, and those are um, Concord grapes. So those are all on the runners. They're looking pretty good. We got to get these up a little bit more from this year. They're really falling into the um, aisles. So the only thing that I would do differently is plant them further apart. So when we planted ours, we planted them a little bit close together, I think. So we'll be planting them further apart. Now the other grape that I just showed you, the uh, koal, the uh, Niagara grape that I just showed you, after this harvest, after this fall, we're going to take two rows out of there. So there'll be two, every other row we're going to take out of there and we're going to put it in the back part of our property because they're too close, they're too hard to maintain when they're so close together. So we want to beautify those, get them up on big, huge things like this, you know, get them up on these posts and with the heavier wire like this, how it's supposed to be, and they'll do much better. So these are really great. Uh, Concord grape are really great also for making red wine. So I've made red wine, I've made white wine, and um, it turned out fantastic. What turns out, I think, better than anything is the... Um, the mixture and the um, 
you know, when you take like the, the red grape and you mix other fruits with it, that's what I love. Or the white grape and you mix um, a peach with it or you mix other fruits with it. Those are my favorite, those blends, those mixes. Um, I really enjoy those. I really like those. Um, they turned out wonderful. I still have some wine left and um, I'll have to uh, maybe have some and, ha and bring it out one of these days um, and uh, have a toast with you guys online. Um, so that would be good. This had a little, I don't know what it was, but, but you can see the grapes coming. See, these are the, the Kowaba grape. Let's see if we see some more. Let's just walk through a row. You want to walk through a row with me? Come on, let's go. So we don't see any snakes out here. That's always my fear. But we're going to go. So here, we're out in the grape. We're out in the vineyard. Beautiful, huh? So yeah, so they're just starting. Look at the little baby grapes. Isn't that cute? So cute. I don't know what this little fung, this, uh, it's almost like a, taking off the leaves that I see that are bad. It's almost like a, uh, I don't know what you call it. I've never seen that on my grapes before. And I'm seeing it more and more. Huh. Some like, like a bug. They need sprayed, so we do need to spray our grape. Wow, let's see if we can get through here. Let's see how they they really need to be weeded and they need uh they need some care, that's for sure. Yeah, they are getting uh, ate up by something. A little bit there. Here's some beautiful little grape. Little babies coming. Cute, cute, cute. So yeah, so we are always under construction here. There's always, you know, stuff going on. Always, uh, you know, there's just a lot to take care of, you know. And... Um, so yeah, so we've been, you know, working on that. My uh, geraniums out here are doing really good. We can pull those back now. I had my geraniums, my geraniums right here. I had those pulled out so they could get some water. It was raining last night. And then I'll pull them back towards the doorway. And this one has to go way back because the door opens and hits it so but yeah i mean it's getting there it's been a big a lot of work in process in the process of trying to you know clean up from winter and also get all the vegetables in and you know start worrying about the fruit too and you know all this planting the grass and all that stuff but I wouldn't have it any other way. It's been, you know, a great process. And I have really enjoyed it. I'm going to set the garbage right here. And I can get it in the house as soon as I get done talking to you. I do have a few little plants up here. I have a little uh, tomato plant. And this is my wisteria. It was in full bloom this spring. And then the leaves came and it kind of just smothered out the blooms. And it's overgrown. It needs... Um, be trimmed back and it also needs a new uh you know arbor or something to rest on and i put some geraniums no some um gladiolas in here and we have some mint we transplanted these not mint uh lavender we transplanted these lavender last year and they're not doing too good so we need to get black dirt in here and really see if we can help this out a little bit so some other little ground colors, some more gladiolas in there. And yeah, so it's been, um, you know, 
it's really fun. It's been fun growing different things and, you know, trying your green thumb at different plants and different fruits and things. And I really enjoy it. You know, not everyone does. But um, just like I said earlier, if you want to get started in growing your own food and eating healthier and things like that, you know, you can start off small, you know grow in your window seal or grow on your balcony or you know just in your you know backyard just make a small little area at first and see if you like it and see if you can keep up with it and then you can go bigger right <laughs> so anyway i just wanted to share with you what i've been up to i've been really busy getting my garden in and you know doing all this work that i talked about and um and really having a lot of fun outside you know and still eating healthy and and, you know, I can't wait for harvest where we can, you know, bring in some of these foods that we grow ourselves. It's just so rewarding, you know. And um, so I hope you enjoyed my little tour. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you part of our community and um, to be able to, you know, have you around. That would be great. And um, so if there's anything or any questions that you have, go ahead and um you know, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I get back to you. You know, I always get back to people who leave a comment and, you know, or have a question. And um, and I'll talk to you all real soon. And hopefully in the later part of the week, hopefully I'm in my kitchen making something healthy. And I would love to you to join me. I'll share it with you. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Bye-bye now.